Today I want to talk to you a little bit about layer styles and one particular aspect of layer styles that's interesting is that's to look at it in a kind of a different way. Most of us I think think of layer styles as drop shadow, stroke, bevel and emboss, things that we add on to something on a layer like type or something like that. Well, we can also do some interesting things using layer styles in a different way. Now this idea originally was suggested to me by my friend Matt Kloskowski many years ago in, the, in a solution to something. I thought, what a great idea. So I'm going to share it with you and also how we can use it. Uh, the other advantage of a layer style is the fact we can save a preset for a layer style. And what we're going to look at specifically is those situations we're into quite often where you have a photograph, typically something like a landscape where there's sky and you really like the bottom part but the top part, the sky, needs a bit more vibrancy to it. And yes, we could use Camera Raw, Lightroom, etc. and some of those functions but I want to show you specifically how we can use a layer style. And part of this is to get the ball rolling in your brain as to thinking outside the box so it's not just using layer styles like drop shadows. So here's an example. It's overall it's not too bad, but I wish the sky was a little more vibrant. Yes, I could add an adjustment layer, but I want to be able ultimately to do this with one click. So I'm going to first of all make sure my foreground color is black, and the simplest way to do that is press D for default, and then go and add this layer style called gradient overlay. And what you want to do is pick the one that says the second one, and will be foreground color to transparent. In this case black to transparent. Now while it's still in this view we want to look at a little bit you'll find that it for whatever reason just because the gradient is this way it's the wrong way around so if I hit the reverse button now it's the way I want. And as I said while it's in this black and transparent view we can drag up and down to affect it see where it goes and if you need to you can even click once right on the gradient and get into the gradient editor and here's where, for example, you can see where does the transition start between black and transparent. So I really just want to get this top part up here. And the advantage of doing this in this layer style is it's live, so you don't have to guess where should I drag that diamond shape to adjust the gradient. You're seeing it in the context of the photograph live. So I'm happy with that. I click OK. And the last thing I do is change the blend mode to overlay. And I'm going to click OK so I can turn this on and off. You can see the difference. Here's before, here's now, and you can see a really nice difference. Now as I mentioned, the other part of this that's a real bonus is once I have one that's looking pretty good, I can go back here and choose New Style. Now I also could have done that through the Styles panel, but I just want to show you this way first. I click New Style and then call it something, Sky Overlay and click OK. Now I could also have opened the style panel and clicked on the new button here and it would have got added. But what it looks like now is now I have this built into my styles panel. So now if I open another photograph that sh suffers from a similar problem, all I have to do is add this layer style. Now I didn't mention the first photograph I should here. You cannot add a layer style to a locked background layer. So we have to unlock it and depending on your version you do it different ways. In Photoshop CC now we can just click on it on, right on that padlock. In earlier versions I'd have to drag it to the trash or I can hold down Option or Alt and double click and that will do the same thing. So however you do it, now we have the ability to just do this one click and there we go. You can see the difference. See how much better that looks? The thing to remember about layer styles is a pre they are a preset or this is a preset which means that's a starting point. So in this particular photograph if the effect doesn't look quite right, I can still double click on the gradient overlay layer style and tweak it for this particular one without changing the preset. So as, as I'm sure you'll see in many tutorials and videos that I do, I like to use presets because A, they save me great time and B, they're great time savers. But the real point is you can save time and still continue doing work if you need to. So if you need to tweak the results, you still can. So that just hopefully gives you an idea of how you can take advantage of layer styles in a kind of a different way and get you thinking about ways where you can be even more creative with layer styles in Photoshop.